Hey guys, welcome to The Word. Um, I'm going with a little bit of a different app today, just to, for some variety. I hope you guys are well. But he answered and said, oh, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Matthew 4.4 4. Jesus was referring to Deuteronomy in this passage. As it is written, So he humbled you, allowed you to hunger, and fed you with manna, which you did not know, nor did your fathers know, that he might make you know that man shall not live by bread alone, but man lives by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. Deuteronomy 8.3 Everything you have and everything you are is God's. He provides all things, and there is no reason for you to worry. Only follow His Spirit, and all will come together for good. His Holy Spirit communicates the will of God to you on a moment-by-moment -moment basis. He is the source of God's voice, so it is imperative for you to be sensitive to His voice, that you may obey His words. Notice that this verse doesn't say man lives by the written word of God, Bible, but rather by every word that proceeds from his mouth. The written word proceeded forth from his mouth and came from the Holy Spirit. His written word is not greater than his oral word. Anything God tells you to do, whether written or spoken inwardly by the Holy Spirit, must be obeyed. Do not seek your daily bread, but let God give it to you, for Christ is your daily bread. And if you have any physical needs, God will provide even for those. His love compels him too. If you have need, he will allow it to occur that so you may learn to live by every word of God. While he is teaching you, he'll provide for your needs. It won't be what you want per se, but it will be what you need. Then, when he has finished teaching you that lesson of life, he will bless you with things you want because your heart has been tempered to receive and use them properly. If we have too much of what we want before our hearts are conformed to the Lord's, we will be fleshly and contrary to his character. But if we learn obedience to the things we suffer, we will have a heart prepared to abound properly for even with Jesus was tested this way as we read though he was a son yet he learned obedience by the things which he suffered Hebrews 5 8 and as Paul wrote so each of us must be able to say as well I know how to be abased and I know how to abound everywhere and in all things I have learned both to be full and to be hungry both to abound and to suffer need Philippians 4 and 12. Learn to suffer needs so that through your suffering you may become obedient. Learn also to remain sensitive to God's heart, abiding always in the Holy Spirit when you abound. For it is easy to become distracted from the Holy Spirit by the many idle activities and toys that surround us through wealth. So whether you are abased or abound, Obey the Holy Spirit as he teaches you how to apply the written word daily. The prayer, Father, I know that I must not live, not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from your mouth. I choose to sensitize myself to your Holy Spirit that I can obey him. For I know that if I don't pay attention to your words, but allow life to distract me, I cannot obey you. How can servants obey if they don't hear their master's commands? Lord, I choose obedience. Provide for my needs as I learn to rely upon you for everything, even as Jesus did. And if I should suffer need as Jesus did in the wilderness, even then I will praise you and wait for your mighty hand to save me and lead me out of my sufferings. From this day forward, I will live for your word alone. I hope you guys have this prayer and I love you guys. Father God, be with my friends and family. God, heal the sick. Comfort the weak, God. Help us to listen to your word. Help us to understand your word. Lead us and guide us. Let it not be a religious thing for us, God, but a true relationship with you. And until we can understand you, God, it's hard to know you. So please open our eyes to understanding in our heart. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I love you guys, and I will talk to you later.